Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I'm going to try to do a cloud pour on this shallow edge 12 inch canvas. So um, this, you, if you missed the short that I posted, um, this was probably my most successful cloud attempt yet. This is on a record and I touched it thinking it was dry and I messed it up. But anyway, it's probably just gonna be a little clock or something. Um, but if you've been following my journey, I've been trying to do clouds but I like minimal clouds. Um, this isn't very minimal. So, but in my last test or experiment, when I made this, I took Walmart's Color Place Satin and I swapped it in the recipe where you would put the Deco Art Satin Enamel. And I really like it a lot. Um, so today I'm gonna try to use the same cloud mix recipe and I'll give you the recipe. It's it's basically Molly's Dream Cloud mix, um, only in place of the the deco art. I used the house paint and I added a splash of Liquitex pouring medium because I know house paint, you know, is not really designed to be super thinned down, even though we're using Floetrol. Anyway, so my thought was I knew the bare satin enamel would do this, but I was like, is it is it a bare thing? I, like I don't think it's a bare thing. Satin satin house paint all has that like weird oily thing going on. Um, which is why they use it for like trim and stuff because it's easier to clean. So my thought was, I kept thinking maybe I can go to Walmart and buy a gallon of the Color Place Satin because I've used it in blooms um, as a pillow before. And in, that's this is what sparked my imagination. In the pillow, when I would use it for blooms and I would do negative space swipes on it, the cell activator would get these pearl like ghost cells that were very bubbly and round. And I was like, hmm, there's something about this paint. So, and I liked that effect in the swipes and it never occurred to me that it was the pillow that was producing that. So anyway, the other day when I tried this, I was super excited um, because you can buy PPG, Multipro, and Glidden Essentials gallons for less than 20 bucks. And Bear is like 37 bucks. I mean, Bear is still cheaper um, than Deco Art satin enamels. Also, I don't like that sometimes deco art satin enamels are chalky and not everybody gets that reaction when they use them, but I do. So, so a few things I was learning along the way, I was not putting enough water in my paint, so I added a little bit of water. So today I'm going to experiment a little bit, um, but I'm going to show you the recipe. Let me move this guy before I get paint on him. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the recipe. So it is, and I'll put it in the description box, but it's, um, one and a half parts and she says one to two parts so i did one and a half parts i think artist loft soft body white to half a part of satin enamel so in this case i used the satin house paint a splash of liquitex pouring medium which i think is optional and then three parts flow trawl to one part water and when we say part i know sometimes that confuses people a part is just like a measurement so if you're using a measuring cup it's a part so whether it's three cups or one cup, one cup is one part, three cups is three parts. So that's that's what we mean when we say that. I know some people ask that question a lot and I get it, um, but it's intended to not lock you into having to use a certain amount of whatever color um, or, you know, whatever ingredient. Sorry, my brain is fried. So I'm going to use up some paint that I mixed for something else. Um, so. In the middle, basically the bottom of my cup, I'm gonna actually use a pigment. So this, this is not the pigment though. This is deep crimson. This is a prism pour from Color Art. So I'm gonna use that in the center because the pigment I'm using is, is kind of pink. So my thought was this, even since there's not very much of that left, I can put that down in the bottom and it'll just intensify the pink a little. So I mixed a couple of colors. Um, I think I'm gonna use ginger flower. So what I did to mix the pigment is I have a little squirt bottle of golden gel gloss and water. <clears throat> and I disperse the pigment in that first. And um, then I, for the, for the pigments, I used a pouring medium that I got from Erica Hughes, which is 75% Floetrol to 25% gel gloss. 
This is the pigment ginger flower. This is a color art primary element. Unfortunately, I mixed it in an old cell activator container and there's specks of black in here. So that's annoying. Anyway, um, but I used that pouring medium for the pigments. I kind of keep some mixed up. So I used that and then I just added a little water so that it would be the right consistency. Um, give me just a second. I'm fetching specks of paint out of my, that's irritating, huh? Oh well, there may be, there may be some black paint in my, in my um, center. I should have known better. So what I do with blooms is after I finish something, I, um, I let the cups dry and I peel the paint out. So sometimes if the paint is not perfectly out, I don't worry about it because with blooms, that recipe is so thick that for the most part, unless you're scraping the side, it won't matter. But this is a more fluid recipe, so I should have known better. Anyway, ginger flower is a beautiful color. So I'm going to put it in the center with the red. And my thought is between those two, I should have a nice colorful center. Um, I don't know how much pigments and stuff react to the cloud. So I'm going to add um, another color next to it, which I think is going to be, I know this Soho Prussian blue responds well. I, and I've heard um, that Creative Inspirations does. Um, I have some Creative Inspirations paints gray over here. I've also heard that Amsterdam responds well. Liquitex responds well to the cloud. So certain paint brands are more reactive than others. So next to the cloud mix, I'm going to make sure and use, at least on one side, a paint that is reactive. So this is the Soho Prussian Blue. It really seems more phthalo blue to me but it's pretty nonetheless. So we have the pink in our cup. We're gonna put the blue. And we have a lot of paint down there at the center. So um, now I need to put the cloud mix. I feel like I have stuff everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna be a little light on the cloud mix because again, I want minimal clouds and they were not minimal on that one. So I'm just going to give it a, a little stir. So this is the cloud mix. It's kind of runnier than I would normally mix it. But again, it was working, so we don't want to... So I should do this on camera, right? So, um, y'all are higher than me. I think that I'm going to trust that that's enough. It's already reacting with the paint. And then next up, I'm going to use... Um, greenish blue from Amsterdam and this is just my regular colors are just mixed with Cotrol and water so this is greenish blue and then I'm going to put a little bit more of that ginger flower next to the greenish blue okay and then there's that and then we're going to put a little bit more of our Prussian blue. Oh, I just found a lump in there. Here's that. A little bit more cloud mix. Sorry, I didn't do that where you could see. Here's that. The other thing that I think I was doing wrong initially was, and now I'm going to do, oh, my cloud mix is sinking. I'm going to do a little bit more greenish blue. The other thing I think I was doing wrong is I was not, I was using too much paint so it didn't stretch out enough. Um, so I'm already making a mess, so I'm gonna get going. So this is the way I poured in. So my friend Sheldon said I should try to pour from the side. So I'm gonna do that. So <clears throat> I'm nervous because my cloud mix sank. So yikes. So I'm gonna come up higher at first until I see what I'm working with. And there was a clump, two clumps of something. So now I'm gonna get a little closer. Now, the last one I did, I did as a ring pour. So this I'm kind of starting as a straight pour. And I think I'm gonna turn my hand a little bit. Okay, now our center starting to come out. Now I'm just, for some reason, switching to a ring. Really pretty color combo. Okay, flip 
that upside down. All right, so let me torch it and let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Let it sit for just a second. Okay, and we're getting clouds already. Woohoo! So before that wasn't happening to me at all. So yay, yay, yay. And I don't know if we're gonna need any flow extender, but I do have some over here from some previous pours. I love these colors. Um, it is a little weird that this is so ring pourish and the rest is so not. So I think I We've exaggerated that center a little bit, but I think as we stretch it out, it's going to cloud a little, so it'll probably be fine. <clears throat> so I have, I do try to get my drippings as much as I can so I can use it as a flow extender. This flow extender needs to be thinned out, um, so I don't know how well it's going to work as a flow extender, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm so excited. Okay, and I'm also super nervous. So... It's actually kind of a pretty color if you wanted like a muted color palette. You know what I mean? Kind of a greenish, grayish color. All right, let me cover up my cloud mix. And I'm, I'm very happy, even though the composition may not be amazing, I'm very happy. So I'm gonna spin it. Well, I don't like that this is so ring porous here. So let me tilt it first. I think it's just, that's the way it's gonna be. So I may just have to figure out if I can live with it. Um, I mean, I could, I can't really tilt it off. It's in the center, you know what I mean? Um, but I am gonna, before I spin, I'm gonna move the weight of the paint. Apparently not very slowly. Oh no, I like that part. Dang it. Okay, I'm screwing this up already. But that ginger flower looks great in here. Okay, that did not quite, so I'm tilting a little too quickly. Some of you guys are probably like, we know. Um, and I am gonna spin in a minute, but for now I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do about the center. And I may pour over it, um, honestly, but let's see. But what is exciting, regardless of the outcome of this one, is it's working. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get over that ring pour part. I think I want to do it as a straight pour. So I'm going to go again. hope you guys are in for a long video. But can I just say, even if the composition of this one is wackadoo, that I'm so excited to finally be getting somewhere. And this was also kind of a good experiment because I... I used less of the white. We still have a lot of clouding, um, but it was a little bit more controlled in some places. So I can do one of two things. I can only put the white in once, or, because remember at the end it tried to sink a little, so I think my white might be heavier than one of those colors. So I can, I can do that, or um, I can just be a little lighter with it. Or, as my friend Sheldon suggested, I can dirty pour one of my layers of clouding so that it's not a whole puddle and it causes it to be mixed up a little bit. So I'm not sure which one we're gonna do. The bad part is we're not gonna have that crimson in this one because we used it all. So we're gonna go again. I'm gonna do, where's my cup at? I'm gonna use the same cup. There is still a little crimson in the bottom. So I'm gonna do the ginger flower I'm just excited that we're finally seeing the clouds. You know, happy, happy. So ginger flower, can you guys see? I can't reach the camera to be able to tell if you can see. So that's ginger flower at the bottom. And I put the lid on some of these paints already. Um, so ginger flower, we kind of got purple with the ginger flower. I'm actually gonna do greenish blue next. Quite a bit of it actually and then cloud 
which I covered up. I'm so excited that this worked because um, I will probably need a little bit more than that. I didn't put very much because I feel a lot more comfortable experimenting with this knowing that it's going to cost me a fortune. I don't know why that green cord was so ugly. Now we're putting the Prussian blue. So Prussian blue. And I am going to do a little more ginger flower here. Might as well just use it. Um, I have a little bit left. And then greenish blue. Next. And then I'm going to dirty pour, meaning you're just going to pour it in from up high versus, so you're kind of allowing it to kind of fall where it wants to. <clears throat> That's a trust exercise. I'm kidding. It's not. And then I think I'm going to use the rest of my ginger flower just to go ahead and use it up. And I'm going to dirty pour that too because it's just a little bit. Alrighty. And then I think I'll do a little bit more of the fellow or the whatever Prussian blue and I dirty poured that too so okay guys I'm so nervous so I came in on that side I think we'll come in on this side sorry guys the doorbell rings you probably heard my dog barking ferociously <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I can recover my composition but I think I can all right dogs are hyper. You can hear them. Bless you. So we definitely have a little bit more muted clouds this time, but I do think we're going to have a chance at better composition. I am struggling to get the center right. That really threw me off. Sorry. I had like poured half the cup and I was like, oh no. Okay. We'll see, huh? Um, okay, let me torch it and look at it. Where's my torch? I think even though it's weird in some places, I think if we tilt the right way, we can, we can make it work. So, sorry if you can hear my dogs, they're all excited. Um, okay. Look, we have little pearls and little clouds. Okay, I had to take a drink of coffee. All right. <clears throat> so this part looks a little strange, but that's okay. Um, the part that I think will have no clouding is over here. So let's see. Let's tilt. Well, why don't we just spin and see what happens when we spin and then just a little whoa it's not like bloom paints that don't spin off so fast right and i don't have anything but me and the puppy pad to protect the floor okay so i'm digging that so far let's go this way a little the only thing is i need to come off this corner um I probably should have tended to the corners before I spun. Spun, span. It has to be spun, right? All right, one corner off, sort of. All right, and now we'll go back this way. The places where I dirty poured might be why I have some weird, like, lacing almost here. Um, I might have needed to be a little more heavy handed when I did do that. I don't know, we'll see. And so the weight of the paint is mostly in the center, but I need to get this corner. Chloe, stop. Sorry, she's licking something off the floor, but it sounds pretty disgusting for you guys, I'm sure. Chloe, that sounds gross. Oh, Chloe's my dog, by the way. I don't want you guys to think I'm saying a child is licking off the floor or anything. Okay, and she didn't particularly like being told no. Okay, so I don't dislike this, and I, I don't want to pour over it because 
we don't have any more ginger flower. Um, but it's not like my favorite composition. But we are getting the clouding, so that's half the battle, I think. The composition, I think, is something we can deal with later. Getting some clouds after all that time of getting a whole lot of nada is exciting. So, yay. So I may call this one good for now after I stretch this out a little. So the clouds are very transparent in this one and I think some of that has to do with A, I used less cloud mix because I didn't want it to take over, if you recall, and B, I dirty poured that second layer. So we really don't have a lot of cloud in here. This other corner has just an edge that needs to come off. And I feel like I'm sacrificing the composition of the whole thing to get this one edge, which I should not do, but I kind of just did, so. But I'm gonna bring some of the weight of the paint back. So is it the greatest? No, but I do think as it dries, it's gonna be really beautiful. And um, we got to kind of experiment about how we poured the cup um, I do have, the bad thing about using square canvases is you do get these like bikini corners as Karen from Waterfall calls them. And I don't know that there's any way to avoid that. So I'm just going to embrace it. But the cool thing is we got to try, um, on a larger surface and it's see how it's performing. And it seems like we're going to get like those boulder cells that you get like pearl cells and cloud cells, which is cool. So. We we're able to see that it does work. You can get it to not entirely take over. It might be a challenge. Um, but I do think overall, it was a great success. Now, I do want to see some different composition. I do really like the pink with the greenish blue because pink and like turquoise always look really cool together. And so I really like that kind of combination. Um, I know that we have in the center is where we kind of have the ginger flower and that was intentional. I wanted the shimmery color to be in the center and kind of be the center of attention. So now I need to work on my composition. I haven't done many straight pours in quite a while. I, I also recently ordered a split cut from Tracy. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it's going to take some time to get used to like how to anticipate what pattern I'm going to get. Um, some of my coolest straight pours kind of happened by accident. And so, um, I really do like it. It's not the most epic composition, like I said, but for me to finally be getting something and like getting the clouding um, after all this time with so much struggle is exciting. So I'm gonna bring you down for a close up, and so I can show you some of the things that I think are neat. Um, and you'll have to let me know what you think. I will most likely spray varnish this one um, with a nice gloss so you can see the, the shimmer and the pigment. I'm tempted to go again, um, but I also kind of need to do some blooms. So we'll see, um, but I'm just excited that we're finally getting somewhere. So let me show you a close-up. All right, so here is the close-up. This is These are the bikini corners I was talking about. This is that beautiful ginger flower. It's so pretty. And it's performing quite nicely the way I mixed it. You can see that the pigment's not like flocculating or anything, so hooray. Um, you can see another bikini corner here. So you can see we have a little bit more transparency with the clouds out here, and I think that's just because we didn't use a whole bunch. And I think the ones out here are probably where I dirty poured, and I think these layers here were probably in that layer. Um, some of my paints might be a little thin, which I think is causing the pearling, but that's okay. We're 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 gonna get we're gonna get it all situated and figured out. So anyway, I hope you like it. I think when it dries, it's going to be beautiful. You know, these look funky at first, but I think when it dries, it's going to be really beautiful and it'll be especially nice because you'll see the paint darken up a little bit. Like this greenish blue will dry darker. The blue obviously will. The pink will get a little darker. I like that you have some pink in the pearls. So anyway, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Um, again, I'll put everything I used in the description box. But I wanted to kind of explain the, the minor successes along the way.